Hello and welcome to our distance learning experience. Um, I put together this presentation for you to give you an idea of what distance learning will look like in our classroom, as well as uh, some tips on how to be successful for these next few weeks and what to expect as well. Welcome back. Um, everything you're going to be doing in this uh, distance learning experience will be just like school. So go get your brains back into the mindset of what school is like because you're going to be going to school on a daily basis. The only difference is you're going to be doing it from your house using Google Classroom. So number one, keep in mind that you will be graded on this. Number two, you will have assignments every single day. And number three, you will be expected to check into all the classrooms that you have on a daily basis. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about four things. Number one, what are your expectations? What should you do on a daily basis? Number two, lessons and assignments. What am I planning to do for the next couple of weeks in terms of lessons and the work that you're going to require to do? Number three, uh, how to contact me and how to stay in communication with your teacher. And number four, throughout this presentation, I'll talk about tips and strategies so you can be successful. First things first, and this is the most important thing. Check your Google Classroom every morning. If you're confused, if you don't know where to begin, if you're thinking of how to start whatever it is you're trying to start when it comes to distance learning, go to Google Classroom. That's where everything is going to be. So what will you be expected to do? Like I said, number one, always check your Google Classroom. You're gonna be doing this for the days that you have the blocks. For example, if it's a day one, you see blocks one, two, three, and four, which means you should check the, check the Google Classrooms for blocks one, two, three, and four. Number two, answer the attendance question. Every single one of those blocks are gonna ask you to submit your attendance. If you do not, you will be marked present in PowerSchool, so keep that one in mind as well. Number three, all assignments will be posted by 9 a.m. daily. I will have the assignments in. So most of the time will be done between eight and nine, but no later than nine. And then last but not least, you have the day to complete your assignments until 11.59 p.m., unless I tell you otherwise. Some assignments I'm going to do are going to last longer than one day, and I will let you know in that assignment. The lessons that I'm planning to create for these next couple of weeks are very similar to what you've been doing all year long. Investigations, uh, we're going to be doing our last HIQ, so HIQ4, I'm going to find a way to do that in about a week or so and projects like the one that you did for the mini PBL we had previously on American imperialism. The skills required to complete your assignments, again, are these same things that I've been teaching you all year. At this point, you know the skills. Now it's time for you to practice them. And those skills include sourcing, analyzing, interpreting, corroborating primary and secondary sources, and also developing your argumentative responses, using evidence to support your claims. Remember, the HTS resource or the Historical Thinking Suite resource is a great place to go if you are confused or need help or support with anything. It gives you information on how to create um, a heading in MLA format, uh, how to write appeal paragraph, how to annotate, things like that. So keep in mind to that you can use it as a resource. You can click here if you forgot where it is, or if you look on Google Classroom, it's under Historical Thinking Suite 2019-2020. I will be hosting live sessions as well, live classroom sessions, and it, I would ask that you try your best to attend the ones that I host. You will have information ahead of time on when this will take place, and the medium that I've decided to use is going to be a program called Zoom, and I'll give you more information on how to log in using Zoom or how to sign up using Zoom. Now, I understand that you can't always make a live session, especially if something else is going on at home, so they... So if you cannot attend it, you will be able to get the information from the assignment that I post. Now, the biggest and most important thing throughout this experience is to make sure that you continuously contact me with whatever it is that you are thinking. If you are feeling overwhelmed, for example, or if you're feeling confused, disorganized, um, even disconnected, if you're feeling like you're disconnected from this whole experience or from other people. You have the opportunity to chat with all of your teachers, including me, in the following ways. Number one, send me private comments on Google Classroom. That's gonna be the easiest way and the most quickest and efficient way to contact me before 9 p.m. Uh, anything you have to ask about an assignment, about anything that's up on Google Classroom, just send me a private comment and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. 
But remember, be patient because there are a lot of responses and I'm not always at the computer. Number two, if you feel like you need to ask me questions on something that's a little bit more in depth and you want some more time other than one or two responses, we can do a live chat session or a video conference. And I'm going to give you more information on that later on and how to sign up for an appointment. If all else fails and you can't get a hold of me for any reason, you may use Gmail. The reason why I'm putting Gmail at the bottom is because I know that right now you guys are getting bombarded with emails on your, on your Gmail account from all over, from the principal, from all your teachers, from Google Classroom. And I don't want, and I want to send anything through Gmail. I want to make sure that it's important so that I don't clutter it up with all of the other things that you have on there, which means if we can, if we communicate through Google Classroom, hopefully Gmail starts to get a little bit easier to navigate. And again, please be patient with responses. Don't expect me to respond right away. Give me a little while, especially if it's not during the times of school. Let's review. Keep this in mind. This is your steps that you should follow on a daily basis. Number one, always visit Google Classroom. The first thing you do when you wake up or after you have breakfast is go straight to Google Classroom and check out what's going on in there for the classes that you have. Number two, complete your attendance. It's gonna be really simple. You're gonna push the yes next to the assignment or the question, which asks, are you present? And you click turn in. Number three, you're gonna open and read the assignment directions for the day. I'll have something that says lesson one or lesson so-and-so, and then you click on a Google Doc that will give you the directions for the day. Today, you're going to do that as soon as, today you did that already, and this is where you got your presentation for. Number four, complete and turn in your assignments before 11.59 on the day that they are due. It's as simple as making sure that you press turn in, or sometimes check again just to make sure and click mark as done if it hasn't been done, just so it pops up to me and it shows me that you have finished. A lot of you forget to do this step, so make sure that you are responsible to check that you have marked it as complete and I see it as complete. I will not go into the ones that have not been turned in to grade. And number five, once you are done with all of those, definitely check your Gmail account for any updates on anything else that's important through the district. These are the five steps that you should be taking on a daily basis. So make sure you keep these in mind. If you have any questions or comments about anything with distance learning, please let me know through the private comment section now. Or like I said before, you can contact me in any of the other way that I mentioned. This is going to be a challenging experience for all of us, but it can be also a really rewarding one. And I look forward to spending it with you guys. Have a great day.